Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link and don't forget to download the video after we finish immediately. Uh, today our topic is about the Muslims always claim when they debate Christians that the Quran says, and this is the answer they keep repeating, that Jesus is just the same as Adam. Now before we talk about this uh, topic, uh, we will first ask a few questions and see how the logic of Islam work the Muslim they consider Adam as a prophet and from that point immediately you will find that this is something silly even to believe in you will find that the Muslims that they are not even using their brain they are just copy paste their prophet said that Adam is a prophet so he's a prophet but we don't want to ask ourselves how somebody he is the first man he is a prophet he's a prophet to who Isn't it weird to believe in such a garbage? That the first man is a prophet. Why did he prophesy? What is the prophecy of Adam? You see, when we call somebody a prophet, that's mean he been given a book and he is prophesying, and God said to him, Go and teach your people, etc. But that did not happen. So, how he is a prophet? And remember that wife, she was exist in the time where Adam was living in heaven too. So here we go. Adam was there and Eve was there. Does that mean Eve is a prophet too? Both of them, they receive a message from God not to eat from that tree. So if that will make both prophet, that's mean Eve is the first prophet female. But the Muslim would never accept that. So Islam is a very silly cult who come with ideas which is coming from a silly person they call him a prophet of God and just because he says so we believe so it's not because it makes sense now when the Muslim they speak about Jesus they quote for you always a verse from the Quran chapter 3 verse number 59 says Lu, the likeness of Jesus with Allah is, is, is as the likeness of Adam he created him from dust then he said to him be and he was I mean look how stupid this statement is Proving that the one who made the Quran cannot be one person at least, or maybe he is a person suffering from hashish overdose. Because Allah did not create Adam by saying be. Nowhere in the Quran, if you go and read now, and we will do that, if we go and check the story of how Adam was created, we will find that Adam was created from mud. Allah, he fashioned mud, and then he breathed into the mud, and nowhere he said to him be and he was so this is another mistake in the Quran so let us take this statement step by step and show you how you see the Quran says if this book is not from Allah you will find a lot of contradictions yeah right all of it is a contradiction from the even the name of the Quran is a contradiction because Quran it's mean a reading how you can read something is not written how silly how you can read something if you if the Muslim they want to say it me recitation that would be stupid too because recitation is not the same as reading Qara'a is reading coming from the word Qarra wa ra which means it's an Aramaic word Qarra he said and Ara'a which means he saw so he say what he saw which means he say what he read so now little examination for this statement here and we will start with the first part that the likeness of Jesus is the same as the likeness of Adam he created him from dust and then he said to him be challenge where we can find that Allah said to Adam be and he was And he was that is a very silly because the Quran give us different story in different place which of them is the correct let us read the Quran and try not to laugh and you know the the funny the Muslim they say to us the Quran nobody can make Quran like I, I agree nobody can make Quran like this I mean you have to be mentally ill to come with Quran does it does not 
fit with the Quran. I mean, a book does not match itself. Let us read. <clears throat> Chapter 15, verse number 29. Allah speak about how created Adam. Allah, he created the genie from fire. Now, this is a very funny creature. Nobody saw and nobody witnessed, but the Muslims believe in it. It's created from fire, but yet it can have sex with your wife. Actually, if you read my book, you will see that a guy, he is proving that his wife, she was sleeping with the genie because they, he saw a fire around her vagina bushes. In other way, the bushes around her vagina, and you know what I'm talking about, it, it, it caught in fire. And the reason for that, because she was having sex with the genie. I think what happened to the bushes of your wife, my friend, that you were having a cigarette there. And her bushes were very dry. But yet they believe in the Mr. Genie, who nobody saw. And Muhammad, he claimed one day he captured him, but he released him two seconds before his companion arrived. I mean, just wait, man, until they see him. And then Muhammad, he says in the Quran, supposedly Allah said to him, and remember, when the Lord said unto the angels, I am creating a mortal out of putter, clay, and the black mud altered. So when I have made him, and have breathed into him my spirit. Do you feel down prostrating yourself into him? So how Allah created Adam? He did not say to him, be. He made mud. Then after the mud, he did not say be. The second step, it was he breathed into him. He breathed. And by the way, the translation is kind of funny, but we will let it go. And here you will find that the first one was, you know, uh, uh, taught uh, uh, anyone to bow down to a man, it was Allah. What kind of God he ordered the angels to bow down to a man? And yet the Muslim, they say that the Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. How Jibreel is an angel and Allah, he ordered all the angels to bow down to a man because they commit sin against Jibreel for they accuse him that he is going to do mischievement. So here you notice that even the verse in chapter 3 does not match itself for Allah did not create Adam as the Quran claim. So what we will do now? What we will do now is we will take into consideration that Allah is not consistent and this is Muhammad who is illiterate, ignorant, Arab, Bedouin man who have no idea what he's talking about and he forgot what he said a week ago. Then we go to the other part of the verse. The likeness of Jesus with Allah. The likeness. It's very funny that we speak about the likeness, we don't speak about the differences. I can say the likeness of Jesus and me, he have a hand, I do have a hand. I can say the likeness of Allah, that he have hands, have five fingers, and I have a hand, have five fingers too. I can say the likeness of Allah, that he have a foot, and I have a foot. I can prove it, by the way. I know the Muslims are desperate for me to open my karma to show my foot, but uh, I'm afraid after that of, uh, 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 you know, uh, I will be accused that I'm driving the Muslims crazy. So the likeness, what about the differences? The Muslim, when you say to them, Jesus have no father, they say to you, Adam has no father. That is shown as the low IQ of the one who is answering. Because how Adam will have a father, you idiot, he is created just now from mud. He is not born. Every human born, every, every, every born human, he have a father. Except Jesus. Why? It's an answer Muslims cannot explain to us. The miracle of Jesus being born of a virgin, there's no need for it. 
if you if you ask me, I mean, uh, my mom and your mother, she can claim that she gave birth to you as virgin. There's no proof of it. You see, the purpose of a miracle is to show the power of the Almighty God, but this is cannot be shown. That this is cannot be even proven to be true. We believe in it. So, what the purpose of this? He's born with no father. It must be there is a reason. Muhammad, he said in different hadith, Every son of an Adam, he is a sinner. Based on this, Jesus is not the son of Adam. If we ask the Muslims, okay, Jesus is a son of who? What the Muslim will say? What a Muslim will say if we say to him, according to Islam, Jesus is a son of who? You will go mute? I will make it simple for you. The one who made my mother have me is my father. As simple as that. Regardless of who, you know, your mother, she is married to who or not married, she can be single too. Which means legal relationship or not. It doesn't matter. The one who stepped with her is the one who made you come to life. Because, because of them, both of them, they have sexual relationship, they had you. So who is the father of Jesus? Muslims, they have no answer. Okay, Jesus is coming from where? They say he's a miracle of God. Okay, a miracle of God. So Jesus is the miracle of God. He himself is the miracle of God. This is not only about miraculous birth. No, no, he is the miracle of God. And God is a miracle. Why he have no father? They have no answer. What that will prove to us? I mean, what the point? What the point and why from all mankind there's only one person he have no father what about we make uh, Allah he make us all you know born with no father and that's it what the purpose in the middle of nowhere suddenly there's a person he has no father no answer the stupid logic is consistent with the stupid answer and the stupid explanation so now here, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, in which way? He said, and the Quran said, not me, and I'm quoting, he said to him, be, and he was. But guess what? Neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by be. If we go now and read the story of Jesus and the Quran, how Jesus, he came to existence, you will see that Allah did not say be to Jesus, and he was. Jesus, he, according to the Quran, he was the word of Allah sent down to Mary, and then Allah, he breathed into her vagina, and he made her pregnant. Where is B? If Allah, he said to Jesus, be, and he was, then there is no need to send your words, and there is no need to breathe into her, and then Jesus will be the child of Mary. There's no need of all of this. Just you said B. That's it. It's over. So here we find two mistakes about B and he was for both Adam and Jesus. Allah did not create Adam by saying B. And Allah did not create Jesus by saying B. So how Allah he says such a thing. Let us go to the Quran. How Allah created Jesus according to the Quran, if we can use the word created. And Mary, the daughter of Amran. Here you will find something very silly and very stupid too. Allah, he is God, but yet he do not know the last name of Mary. Or let us say the father, who is the father of Mary. I mean, how silly, how stupid is that? You see, the Christians been accused of corrupting their book, but why they want to change the name of the father of Mary? The answer is very simple. Muhammad the fool, he thought 
that the same father of Moses, he is the same father of Mary. This is why you notice that Amran is a father of Moses too. And he is the father of Aaron too. And he is the father of Mary. And guess what? Muhammad in different verse in the Quran he says ya ukhta Harun o sister of Aaron when the when when the Jews get him busted they said to him but this is not a true there's many hundreds years before be between Mary and between Aaron how he can be her brother Muhammad he come to a solution he said ah uh, at that time they used to call them by the good ones of their si and sister good ones what about Moses why Aaron the fact is, if you go in the Old Testament, you will find that the Old Testament confirm that the father of Moses and Aaron and Mary is a person. His name is Umram, not Umran. So Muhammad did not even quote the name correctly, which means the last letter is M, not N, M from mountain. So Muhammad, he know, he learned that there is a woman, her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Moses and she is the sister of Aaron. So the fool he thought that this is the same woman she is the sister of Moses and this is why he keeps saying Mary the daughter of Amran because this is the father of uh, Moses and this is the father of Aaron silly stupid prophet got himself busted then he continued and Mary the daughter of Amran whose body was a ch uh, chaste which means she was a virgin therefore we breathe therein something of our spirit oh boy but in the other verse, he says, we said be, and he was. He said, we said be, and he was. Here it says, we breathe. And by the way, the translation here is a fiction lie. They say therein. In fact, it says, he goes back to her vagina. Where therein? Where Allah, he breathed into Mary. Any Muslim can tell me? I will give you options in her nose, in her mouth, or in her private part. The Quran says, Fi farjiha. In here, vagina. So, what do you mean therein? But they are ashamed to say the word and try to be uh, cover up. You know, Muslims are kuffar. Kuf, kuffar mean the one who cover up. So, they are kuffar. They try always to cover up the truth even about their book So their translation is a fiction translation in order not to show you the stupid statement in the Quran that Allah is a vagina blower Now going back Where is the statement where Allah created Jesus by B and he was he did not create him by saying B As you see, there was a word sent down to Mary, that is Jesus, the word of God. And then that word, after received by Mary, Allah, he breathed. Which means, in this process here, the breathing is to give the nature, the new nature of this word. And here, remember, if we ask the Muslims, is the word of God is holy? They will say yes. Okay. The word of God is holy. So is Jesus. Chapter 4, verse 171. Somebody saying, you are a liar. Let me call you right now. Hey, call me right now. Who is holding you? The Muslim Abdul who keeps saying, let me call you right now. Who is holding you? Call me. I advise you to bring your dad or adult with you. Read with me this... Uh, verse and 
We will use most popular translation used by the Abdul. O oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, here by the way, you notice something, maybe in the translation doesn't show, but uh, uh, always remember this. The word Jesus never appear in the Quran. The name appear in the Quran is Isa, and Muhammad, he called the wrong name. Until now, until now, you cannot find a simple Christian in the Middle East call him Isa. Never, ever. We call him in Arabic Yeshua, which is coming from the Hebrew word Yeshua. The son of Mary was, and this is here between two bracket, take it off, a messenger of Allah. So he was what? He is a messenger. Okay. And he is his word. He is the word of God. Is Adam the word of God? No. Adam is mud, dust with water, fashioned as a clay in the shape of a human being, and then he breathed into him. And you remember we explained to you where it says وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ وَعَجُولَ And Allah, he made the, the man ever hasty. If we go to the interpretation, we will find, like in Ibn Kathir as an example, that even Adam, Allah, after he made him a mud and he breathed into him, he asked Allah for, to finish him before the sunset. So he did not say to him, be, and he was. Let us, let us prove that because the Muslim, they might say, oh, where you get this from? You know the Muslims. I mean, you know them. Don't say something and you don't show it. They will make a drama about it. Chapter 17, verse number 11. And the man was ever hasty. Now, if we go and, fi and find an interpretation for this uh, uh, thing, 17.11, and this is Ibn Kathir, and uh, always take into consideration that Ibn Kathir does not give really an act like a, tra a translation I'm talking now. It's not true. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes. Sorry, Christian. Please, um, I'm a Christian. I, I was watching your YouTube live. I'm from Nigeria. All right. So I think the live, um, I don't know if I'm watching the, the live or it is delayed. It's all right. I'm watching. Um, sorry, sir. Don't be, don't be angry with me. Let me. The Jesus is the same as Adam. Yeah. It's, I'm broken. I'm watching live now. So I was trying to call. Uh, from the Skype, but it's okay, my friend. Go so to the topic. What do you want to say? I wanted to say that uh, I love what you're doing, and I've been learning a lot from you, and I've been sharing the word as much as I can with my pastors and fellow Muslims. All right, my friend. I'm from Nigeria, actually. Well, I'm happy that you are from Nigeria listening to us. Please just uh, wait until we finish the topic if you want to say something. Um, I appreciate okay. that. Okay, let us finish the topic. Anything else you want to say? No, no. Okay, no, thank no. you very much. Guys, don't call me. Don't call me to say thank you, please, because that will disturb our topic, will not help. I thank you, all of you. I thank the Lord for having you. Now, read with me. This is Ibn Kathir, not me speaking, because the Muslim, they might say, oh, Christian prince is a liar. Yeah, actually, they say always, right? right? It doesn't matter what you show them. And the man was ever hasty. Salman al-Farisi, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam, when he wanted to get up before the soul, his soul reached his feet. When the soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed, Hachu! And he said, Alhamdulillah, here we go. Adam, he speaks Arabic from the first day. He's not even finished yet. I mean, he learned Arabic before the Arabic is, is exist. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> then he says, and Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you. Allah, he says to Adam, may your Lord, I mean, who are you? Aren't you his Lord? 
Uh, silly story. And then Adam, when he uh, when it reached his eyes, he opened them. And when it reached his body and limbs, it started to stare at them and wonder. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. He said, Oh Lord, make it happen before the night comes. So where is the he said be and he was. The guy is so worried that Allah will not finish him before the sunset. He is so worried. Please, Allah, finish it before, before what? Before the night comes. So, Islam is a silly religion. In one verse, they say to us that Allah, he said to Adam be, and he was. In the other verse, says that it took long process, and even Adam was worried not to be finished before the sunset. Here, I'm not going to ask how serious question the story is, because how Adam in the world, he knew the sun is going to set. This guy is not even finished yet. But who dare to question Muhammad's serious stories? Muhammad, he says, serious story, it's a true story. Hmm? He is a liar. If even if he is a block, he can make a new name. He can call me into a second. Is that the guy who called and he cursed uh, Sam Shamu? <laughs> my friend, my friend, listen. We challenge big shakes. Big shakes. They don't dare even to show up. Who are they, those kids? And if you are blocked because you are an insulting and you are a filthy person. Still, you can make a new name and you can call me. So stop lying. As you see here, Adam was not created by B. And even after he breathed into him, Adam is still saying to Allah, finish me before the, before the sun set. Finish me. So still he is doing the creation. Finish me, Allah. Now here. Don't ask me to change the topic, please. Human memory uh, uh, store uh, Stored in tail bone, not who said to you that the human memory are stored in, in tail bone. Hmm. Anyway, so if you if we if we study your Islam carefully, we will find that every statement Muhammad he said is nothing but a poo poo. Muhammad is not a prophet as much he is a poo poo maker. Going back here. So I have made him and I have breathed into him my spirit. So what he made first? He made the mud. What was next? He breathed into him his spirit. Hmm. I don't know if you notice we need something here, something very fishy. I breathe into him my spirit. What is that? He did not say, I breathe into him. You see, uh, the translation is not too much accurate, actually. It says, And I breathe into him from my spirit. Here, you need to ask yourself, do even Muhammad knows what does that mean? Absolutely not. Muhammad is a person who do not know what he's talking about. When a bunch of people, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, what is the spirit? What is the spirit? What Muhammad he said?
chapter 17 verse number 85 they are asking thee concerning the spirit say the spirit is by the command of my lord by the way it doesn't say that it says mean amri rabbi which mean from from from, from my god it is something have to do with my god and you do not know much so where is the answer Still, there's no answer so that's proof that the one who is making the Quran is not only an idiot he is silly and he is not spiritual he do not even know the definition of a word mean spirit what spirit mean until now no Muslim can explain to us what spirit is because as you see even their God could not give an answer so now they ask you what is the spirit and you say to them the spirit is from Allah and uh, and and you do not know but a little what is the answer? Well, they are asking you because supposedly they do not know except little. You know, if I ask, if I ask a person, let us get rid of this kid. If we ask, a, if I ask you a question, and I want to learn from you, and then you say to me, "You know little." Well, what is the answer? You know what I mean? How you how you are God yet you do not know how to answer okay you are Allah and you say to them you have little knowledge okay we know that this is why we are asking you brother Fitter according to the story in the Quran you have a little knowledge and it is proven hey, Abdul we okay Allah have a lot of knowledge where it is I mean, I can say you have little knowledge too. The question is still not answered. They are asking you about the spirit. What is the spirit? Where in this verse is the definition of the spirit? Madness. This is an answer. So I go to somebody and ask him, "What is zucchini?" You say zucchini from the from from the from the knowledge of my Allah, and you have little knowledge. Well, nice to meet you, zucchini, Master. I'm asking you, what is zucchini? You say to me, it's from the knowledge of Allah. So here you notice that Muhammad and Islam does not give an answer for Muhammad himself is a is a is a counterfeit. He's not a prophet. I mean, how silly! You don't even know what the spirit is. Now, Muhammad is very consistent in one thing: in making poo poo. This is the only thing he is consistent with. Read. I heard the messenger of Allah saying, the wind is a, the blessing of Allah. Doesn't say that. Fast translation. It doesn't say that. In Arabic, it says, The wind is from the spirit of Allah, not from the blessing of Allah, you liar. Where is the word blessing? But because this is stupid, they switch the word ruh, which means spirit, into blessing. Since when? I mean, the Muslims, they replace anything they don't like with a blessing. Allah and the angels, they pray on Muhammad, they say blessing on Muhammad. Here, Allah, the, the wind, the wind is of a blessing of Allah. And, and look how, how we can show you how stupid the translation is. How you say it is from the blessing of Allah, and then at the end you say, and seek Allah refugee by its evil. <laughs> Oh boy, you just said that the wind is from the blessing of Allah, and then you say, Seek refugee by Allah from its evil. 
So the blessing of Allah is evil. I mean, the one who is translating the hadith, he is a certified donkey. But yet the one who said the hadith is a bigger donkey. Because look at this. I will change the word. It's not from blessing of Allah. It's from the spirit of Allah. That's why it says in Arabic. Sometimes it bring his mercy and sometimes it bring his adjustment. When you experience it, uh, do not revile it. But beg Allah is good and seek Allah refuge against its evil. Like, hold on. How it is from Allah, how it is a, a punishment, and how it is evil. Is the, is, is the punishment of Allah is evil? Do you understand me guys is the punishment of Allah is evil do you know even what evil mean obviously Muhammad he do not know what, the, what, what what he just did he just made the biggest poo, poo ever because you just said that Allah punishment is evil it's not justice you see when if we ask the Muslims is the punishment of Allah is a just he will say yes absolutely brother Okay, so why Muhammad saying it is evil? Evil is not justice. Evil is a world connected to the devil. Isn't it the Quran say the Christians and the Jews they are evil doers? Hey, Allah is evil doers too. Here we go, the proof in the front of you. But the important about this hadith here that Muhammad he said the wind is from the spirit of Allah who is the who is the one who can explain that to us who is the scholar who can explain such a stupid statement how the wind is from the spirit of Allah Any Muslim? Stupid statement. Because if you say that the wind is from the Spirit of Allah, that means the Spirit of Allah is the one who created the wind. And that means the Spirit of Allah is the creator. But guess what? Allah in Islam is not a spirit. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, this guy Muhammad, he is the same as somebody. Uh, he, he he went inside a spinning machine before he go to this, you know, like I don't know if you've ever been uh, uh, trained as a pilot. Uh, 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 me, myself, when I, like an early age, I joined to be a pilot. This is like, a, a, and there is a spinning machine, you know, and in the spinning machine, you go in and when you get out, really you feel dizzy. And this is exactly how Muhammad is. So you are saying to me that Allah is not a spirit. And then you say to me that the wind is from the spirit of Allah. That's mean the wind they created by the spirit of Allah. But if Allah is not a spirit, that's mean now we have a new God. Who can create and he is a spirit. Any Abdul? Stupidity versus stupidity versus stupidity. The more he talk, the more he do poo poo. But now we notice something very important: that the spirit of Allah, it cannot be Jibril. The Muslim they say to us that Jibril is a Ruhul Qudus, the Holy Spirit. Unless the Muslim, they want to agree that Jibril is the one who make the winds. <laughs> that would be funny. So Jibril is a partner in the creation of the heaven and the earth, including the wind. And here you notice 
that Muhammad saying that wind come with torture and he is saying don't install the wind have you ever heard of such a stupid statement what do you mean don't install the wind I mean how smart such a statement is don't install the winds how somebody can insult the wind? I mean, is, a, is the wind is a person we can insult? You know, when I start learning English, and then I learned that farting, it says a break wind. So I was wondering, like, the English is really funny. How you can break the winds, man? Break wind. I mean, English is really funny. Break wind. Okay. In this scenario here, obviously, Muhammad was not making a statement as much he was breaking winds. So he claimed that the winds is coming from the, the spirit of Allah, not from Allah, which nobody can explain how that can be. And then you cannot curse the wind. Because it's coming from the spirit of Allah. What does that mean? It's a holy wind And then you have to beg Allah and Seek refuge by Allah from the evil of the wind Let it go Then if we go to different story <clears throat> Chapter 12 verse number 87 The chapter of Yusuf or Joseph he said go O my son and as as creating concerning Joseph and his brother and then he says to them don't and despair not of the Spirit of Allah so don't give up in the Spirit of Allah question what is that? What is that spirit? It's called the spirit of Allah, which if you give up in it, you lose your salvation. Which is the spirit of Allah which can save you? What does that mean? Any Muslim? So now we learn that the Spirit of Allah is where the wind is coming from. The Spirit of Allah is the one where salvation coming from. What is that? Do we have any Muslim have an answer? What is the Spirit of Allah which is going to save you? Hmm? The only way to accept this if if God himself is a spirit. Correct, guys? As the Bible teach. The Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit save us. And even even Jesus says the one who cursed the Holy Spirit, there's no forgiveness for him. So it's extremely uh, uh, important. So, but the Muslim don't believe that God is a spirit. So what Allah spirit? Spirit of Allah. 
this spirit this is a unique spirit it's called the spirit of Allah and this is the only one can save you so it's not Allah it's spirit of Allah will save you it cannot be an angel because angel cannot save you your hope is always hope in who on God or in angel what do you think guys where is the hope is coming from does it come from an angel hope of salvation is it from an angel or it's from God so what is spirit is the spirit of Allah <laughs> and why we should not give up in the spirit of Allah and why the spirit of Allah is going to save us let us go to the other verse in the Quran now how many of you remember what chapter we are reading from let us see if you guys are following with me what chapter I'm reading from Anyone remember? This is verse number 87, but what chapter? Chapter 12, thank you. Chapter 12, verse number 87. Now let us compare between the Spirit of Allah here and Jesus being the Spirit of Allah in different verse in the Quran. Shall we? Uh... Let us go. In Quran chapter 4 verse number 17, uh, sorry, 171, it says that the Messiah is his spirit. Spirit from him. In fact, it's a spirit proceeding from him. Let us go and read together. Hello. Hello. If you don't talk, I will hang up. All right. Potato. It says here, as you read with me, that the spirit of Allah is the spirit of Jesus. Jesus is a messenger of Allah. Jesus is his word. He is the word of Allah, which sent down to Mary. So before Jesus, he became a messenger. He was a word of God. And then spirit proceeding from him which mean never disconnected it is a spirit of God that's why you see it says proceeding so Jesus is a man Jesus is the word Jesus is the spirit three in one yet the stupid Quran say say no Trinity but the same verse proved to us the Trinity Actually, here, the Quran, it looked like he is trying to copy John chapter 1, verse number 1 and verse number 14. In the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God. Okay, he is his Word. Word of who? Supposed to be Word of God. And then the Word became a flesh, that Jesus become a man. And then he is, in the same time, a spirit proceeding from him. So within him, this man, he have the spirit of God. Yet he says, say no Trinity. But the important here is that Jesus is a spirit proceeding from him. Actually, we have more reference to prove. 
In many places, including the Hadith, Muhammad he called Jesus Ya Ruhullah. Ya Ruhullah. And we can show that actually. Uh, uh, this is uh, as an example Tafsir Ibn Kathir. In Arabic. Notice in Arabic you can find what I'm going to say, but you cannot find it in English. Just put that into consideration. If you go to chapter of Al-Ma'idah, verse number 112, you will not find it in the English translation. You will find it in the Arabic version. This is why I always warn you, don't believe in the Muslim translation for any book, for they lie and they hide. All right? Here it says, Let us read together. A disciple of Jesus, they said to him, Ya Ruhullahi wa Kalimatahu. The disciple, they say, to who? To the Messiah. Ya Ruhullahi wa Kalimatahu. O Spirit of Allah, O the Word of Allah. Speaking to who? Speaking to Isa. This is the book of Ibn Kathir at, at, at Tafsir al Azim, page number 229. As you see in the front of you, I will post even the reference in the text. So, any Muslim, he ch I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. So, according to Muslims, Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. Actually, there's a hadith where Muhammad, he said the same. He said that the, 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 the disciple of Jesus, they will say to, to Jesus, Oh, the Ruh of Allah. Hello. You again, what do you want to say? Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What do you want to say? I want to ask you, uh, why do you every day attack Islam? It's fun. I mean, I like to speak about stupid ones. And I cannot find more stupid oh. than your prophet. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Anything else? No. What do you think? Why well, you don't answer me? What do you think about your God, Allah, uh, your God, Muhammad, saying that the Messiah is Ruhullah? Do you agree when he said that he is Ruhullah? What Ruhullah mean? How the Messiah can be Ruhullah? Why Muhammad is not Ruhullah? Why Adam is not called Ruhullah in Islam? Why only the Messiah is called Ya Ruhullah, which means, oh, the Spirit of Allah, or oh, the Word of because Allah? Because he's, he's a spirit. He's a, he's the chosen one. Okay. He's a spirit. Okay, hold on. Uh, so, but, uh, but, but, but but this is mean, but Adam is not called Ya Ruhullah, correct? Yes. Okay, Muhammad is not called Ya Ruhullah. Yes, okay. Jesus not also. So, so why why Jesus was called Ya Ruhullah? So where, where does it say that? It's in the front of you on the screen. What is it? Hadith. I can show you the hadith too, but this is Ibn Kathir here. Oh, I don't care what Ibn Kathir says. Oh, you don't care. Oh, okay. Well, so if I show you your prophet saying, Oh, uh, Spirit of Allah, uh, uh, you are going to leave Islam? No. So why are you asking me to, to show you then? I mean, what the point? So show me, show me where this Jesus is the spirit. Show you where Jesus is a spirit. Yeah, mm. Okay, so if I show you that Jesus is a spirit, what that would do? Nothing. So why are you asking me to show me? Because I mean, uh, you are challenging. I, okay, I'm saying to you, if it is true, you are saying still this is nothing? No. Really? Why nothing? You just say that uh, Musa, you just agreed that Moses is not the spirit of Allah. Yes. Okay. So, if I show you that Jesus is spirit of Allah, what that will do? You said nothing. Why? Muhammad is not spirit of Allah. Uh, There's many things that uh, that is the spirit of Allah. Jibreel no, no, no. There is nothing. I, I just saw. I just asked you. You said no. I asked you. Is Muhammad spirit of Allah? You said no. Is Adam spirit of Allah? You said no. And you said no. even Jesus is not spirit of Allah. Correct? No. Show me a hadith. Okay. I'm asking you now. I want you to confirm. If there is anyone in Islam is called the spirit of Allah. 
Yes. Who? Jibril. Jibril is called the Spirit of Allah where? In the Quran. It says where? Uh, we send the Spirit on Muhammad to uh, reveal the Quran. Okay, but it doesn't say that this is Jibril. There is nowhere in the Quran that says that this is Jibril. Can you show me one verse that says that this is Jibril? It's just said we send the Spirit, right? Yeah, but it says that the Spirit uh, revealed the Quran to Muhammad. Okay, I will go with you. So the one who bring the word of God is the Spirit of God. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Does that mean Jesus is the one who brought the Quran? No. So why why your prophet he says that he is a spirit of Allah? Tell me where it says. Here we go. This is the hadith. It says that Jesus is the spirit of Allah. فَيَأْتُونَ إِسَى رُوحُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتَهُ Let us read the translation. I like it when you laugh at your prophet. Okay, <laughs> I'm serious. You like I like it when you laugh at your prophet. Hmm. Read carefully. You better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, and His Word. Guys, does it say that? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Are you there? <laughs> so we proved that Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. Did we show you that the Hadith says that the Spirit of Allah is where the wind is coming from? Guys, didn't we show you in the Hadith that Muhammad, he said that the wind is created by the Spirit of Allah? And here Muhammad saying that the spirit of Allah is Jesus and the word of Allah is Jesus and this is his name this is his title Muhammad is not the spirit of Allah Adam is not the spirit of Allah Moses is, is not the spirit of Allah none of them is the spirit of Allah save Jesus listen kid if you yeah. if you, if you laugh again I will I will block you Actually, let me block you already. I have no time for kids. You see, I'm trying my best to have a scholar to debate with us, not those kids. Because Muslim, they say, look, you are debating a bunch of idiots. All of you are idiots, including your God. And nobody can debate me. When I say nobody, I mean it. And I am here to challenge. You better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, and His Word. And the funny Muhammad, he claimed that he is higher than Jesus. But Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? If we go to the Hadith, this is Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 28a. Muhammad, he said, there is no God but Allah. He is the one and there is no one associate with him. Now, that's funny. How there is no one associate with him and then you say that Jesus is the spirit of Allah. And how you add your name in the Shahada next to his name, that is associating with God, associating the name of a man with the name of God. When the Muslim, they say Allah and his prophet knows best, you associated the knowledge of a man with the knowledge of God. He said, there's no God but Allah. He is one. And there's no, no one associate with him. That is, that's Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. And that is Christ is servant and the son of his servant girl, translated as slave girl. And he is the Christ, his word. Which, this translation, by the way, which communicated to Mary and his spirit. Hold on. Jesus is the servant of Allah. We just heard this Abdul saying that 
Jibreel is the spirit of Allah. What is the proof that Jibreel is the spirit of Allah? He said to me that Allah, he said that he sent the Quran with, the, with his spirit. And that means Jibreel is Jesus. According to this, that will make you the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. What a stupid cult. Hey guys, are we are we saving a reference? Are we saving a reference? Because later you might ask me where you you know say this hadith. Can you show it to us again? Right? Don't, don't call. I'm not going to take more calls. Enough for kids. Huh? Later you might ask me where we can find this hadith. So here you see that there is a chain of contradictions. One, it says that the wind is created by the Spirit of Allah. One, it says that Jesus is the Spirit of Allah. And he is not only his spirit, he is the word of Allah. And Muhammad, he called Jesus by name as title that he is his spirit. And this is consistent in many hadith, which is Sahih hadith. How Jesus is just a man, but yet he is the word of God. Because if all of us are created the same as Adam, that means I am the word of God too. And if, if, uh, if all of us created the same as Adam, well, I am the spirit of God too. So why only Jesus was called his word and his spirit? If all of us are the word of God and the spirit of God, that's mean Muhammad is a stupid silly. Are we following guys? Because that will not be unique to Jesus. If this is not unique about Jesus, then how you can call Jesus such a name? Like the Muslim, they call Moses Kalimullah. Kalimullah, which means the one who spoke to Allah. Allah spoke to him directly. If everybody speak to Allah directly, that means Moses should not deserve that title. You know what I mean? That means this is a stupid title. You call him Karimullah because supposedly no one else spoke to Allah except him. Okay. You call Jesus that he is his word and he is his spirit. Because of what? Obviously because he is the only one. He is the word of Allah and he is the spirit of Allah. Otherwise, if all of us, we are the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah, that's mean Muhammad is a stupid and he is maniac. Are we following people? If there is anyone that understand what I'm saying, when we call somebody a champion, it means he's a champion. Not everybody is a champion, right? When we call somebody, he is an angel. That means he is one of his kind. He's an angel. Okay, not we are not an angel. So when we call Jesus such a title and say he is the word of Allah and he is his spirit. He is his word and he is his spirit. You see here, you say his spirit, not a spirit from him only. He is his spirit. Am I the spirit of Allah? The Muslim, they will say no. Is Muhammad the spirit of Allah? They will say no. Only Jesus is his spirit. You see it? So Islam is not is nothing but a collection of you know like I don't know if you ever live in a village, you will see that the the villagers they collect the poop of the donkeys, the cows, and they use it later to make bread to uh, to cook in it, you know, as a fuel. Actually, it's very good the fuel. The fire will go crazy. Muhammad is nothing but a poop maker, not collector. He make poop, and he don't look behind him. He think he have cake behind. In one side he says Jesus is the same as Adam. In other side he says no, 
Jesus is the only one is the Word of God and he is the only one is the Spirit of God in other side he says the Spirit of God is the one who created the wind in other side he said the Spirit of God is the one who sent the books in other side he said the Spirit of God is holy So how Adam is the similarity the same as Jesus, you idiot? So by the nature, they are not the same. Because as you see, Jesus was a word of God before he became a man. Adam never was a word of God. Adam was dust, mud, and then he breathed into him. Jesus was the Word of God, which means he was in heaven before he came down to earth. The Word of God sent down to Mary. So what Jesus was before he became a man, he was the Word of God. Where? In heaven. If we ask the Muslims, is the Word of God created? They will say no. That means Jesus never been created. If the Word of God is B, and he was, that means a stupid statement because Allah did not say be and he was after that he breathed into Mary Are we following All what you need to do when you uh, study Islam Try to trace the poop of Muhammad he make poop everywhere Like this guy is very easy to trace him. If we ask the Muslims, who is the father of Jesus? They say, uh, God made him without father. So who is the father of Jesus? That means God, his father. He is born. He is not created from mud. So the verse in the Quran saying the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. That's a stupid statement because Adam was not born. And Jesus not created from dust and this is the in the front of us. This is Muhammad himself explain where Jesus is coming from Do you see anywhere it says he was mud? What mud? So the argument of Jesus being the same as Adam, not only silly, it is extremely stupid. And actually, Muhammad, he deserves a prize of his stupidity. They are asking thee concerning the spirit. Say the spirit is from the command of my Lord. Well, thank you for the answer. I mean, what is the answer? This is an answer. Of somebody has no answer if we copy the same statement we will find the same story is in the hadith in the hadith people they ask Muhammad you know that I like it when people ask Muhammad the questions because he do poopoo immediately they ask Muhammad the same question as we see in the Quran read carefully and who is the one always behind the, the Muhammad getting busted the Jews that's why Muhammad he ate them uh, the Quraysh say to the Jews, give us something so we can ask this man, which means we can get him busted. They say to him, I'll ask him about the Ruh, which means the spirit. <laughs> so they ask him about the Ruh. So Allah Most High revealed, they ask you concerning the Ruh. Say the Ruh is one of the things of the knowledge of Allah. <laughs> Beautiful the answer. I mean they are asking you what is the ruh you say to them. It's from the knowledge of Allah. We well, are Allah I mean the guy is answering is Allah. So what do you mean from the knowledge of Allah? Allah is saying to them say to them the the, the ruh is from the knowledge of Allah. Where's the answer? I mean, have you ever heard of a silly story like this? 
And look here, Muhammad, he cannot stop doing poo poo. Look what he said. I don't know if you can notice with me how big the poo in this story here. And by the way, this is Sahih, and this is can be found in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari too, not only in a Turmudi. Muhammad he says, they ask him about the knowledge of Allah. He says, if the sea were ink for the word of my Lord, surely the sea would be exhausted before the word of my Lord be finished. What does that mean? Chapter 18, verse number 109 in the Quran. How silly is that? So why the why Muhammad is the last prophet? If the words of Allah never finish and the sea will be exhausted if it's in ink before Allah finished talking. Allah is talking. <laughs> never stop. So how Muhammad can be the last prophet? And how we can contain the words of Allah in a page, in a, in a book can be printed by half ounce of ink. Obviously, this is a stupid statement, but nothing new. Muhammad is the champion of this. But I find it very hilarious how Muhammad he answered the question without answering. Brother, I challenge you, brother, to tell me what the spirit means, brother. Hey, brother, I got an answer right now from Allah. He said to me that only Allah know what the spirit. This is the answer. Only Allah knows the spirit, what it is. They are asking you what is the spirit. Have you ever heard of a stupidity can beat that? I ask you what is zucchini you say to me only Allah know what is zucchini and who is the one is answering Allah it's not Muhammad Muhammad is saying to them what Allah said to him to tell them I mean this is the answer from Allah say to them brother I am only knows what is the spirit okay what does that mean <laughs> I mean this is knowledge man Allah knows Allah knows okay Allah knows what give me the answer to see if Allah knows or not they are they are challenging you what is the spirit do you know what even the spirit is what kind of a prophet I mean have you ever heard of a prophet and a religion they cannot even give definition for what is the spirit you do not know I think, yeah, I think when they ask Allah this question, he was Abbas and he was a driving. So he said, I cannot read now. I cannot answer you now because I'm driving. <laughs> anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. Actually, we can share a lot more of issues. You know, this is we can we can give endless reference of stupid things. Muhammad, he says, which is. Proving him to be an idiot and he do not know what he's talking about. He do not know what is the word of God mean. He do not know what the spirit of God mean. And he called Jesus the spirit of God. He called him the word of God. But yet he says he the same as Adam. But Adam is not the spirit of God. He is not the word of God. And Adam is not created by being. Neither Jesus. So the whole story is a collection of stupidity. And my friend, at the end of the day, garbage in, garbage out. Somebody saying Indonesian Abdul, he want to debate you. Okay, so you want to call me now? What his name? Give me his name. So I allowed him to call me. And Indonesian Abdul wanna be wanna call me. That's really wonderful. Okay, here we go. My Skype is open. The guy from Indonesia only, please call me. And please have mercy on me. I am weak. As you know. Okay, this guy is a Christian from Indonesia. I got too, um, too many messages from Indonesia of Muslims leaving Islam, which is wonderful.
What the what the name of this guy from Indonesia want to debate me? Anyone? Where is the guy? I don't know. All the messages I see from Indonesia, they are from Christians or ex-Muslims. And by the way, like my my uh, videos became extremely popular in Indonesia, and uh, uh, you know I showed you just a few days ago where somebody sent me a link saying that this is a very famous uh, news blog or uh, uh, you know news website talking about Christian friends. Some of the Muslims they get upset because it's, it's uh, the title says number one Indonesian newspaper. I don't know. This is what they said to me. I'm not from Indonesia. Regardless if it's one number one or number two or number fifteen, I mean, if it's number even ten or even eight or five, still this is the biggest Islamic country, and yet not even a single Muslim of you, Muslims Abdul from Indonesia, dare to stand up and call me. Hmm. Where are, where is your scars? Why you don't bring me this Zakir Naik so we can take him for a snack? I guarantee you that Zakir Naik will not handle 15 minutes with me. Actually, Zakir Naik is a certified mule. Is the easiest one to debate. Brother and sister, I did example the other person is named Christian Prince. And he will always attack the Christian. And the other I don't know the brother. But we, what, what he said, nobody knows. I mean, there's no answer. It's just a stupid talk. Jihad Ibn Abbas, I am from Indonesia. No, you are not from Indonesia. You are a liar. I will prove it. Yes, Abdul. You are having orgasm, 70 years orgasm? Okay. <laughs> Before he called, he said to me, Call me donkey, enemy of Allah, Yahmar, which means don't, I am from Indonesia. Wallahi, he called me. And then after we let him call, he started having orgasm on the. Did you hear the sound of the devil? They don't dare to debate me. You know, this is this, they are possessed. Did you hear the sound? Did you hear the sound? I mean, those people are really weird. They cannot answer me. If you think you can, you are dreaming, my friend. You see, actually, you cannot find one Muslim scholar there to have his Skype open. I will call them. Find me the Muslim scholar who is having the courage to call to, to open his uh, Skype. Yes, yes Muhammad. Yeah, hello. Yes, Muhammad. How are you? Yeah, so um do you want to discuss the ruh? You're yeah. discussing about the ruh. Yeah, your prophet they ask him what is the ruh he said. It's, it's from the, the knowledge ruh. from Allah. Okay, what does that mean? What is the answer? Yeah, so these these certain things about the ruh, we, we can't. It's also, it's unexplainable to our mind. We won't be able to comprehend it. So that's the revelation that came down. That's, um, and that's, very, that's very funny because you Muslim, you keep saying to me the ruh is Jibreel, the ruh is Jibreel. Suddenly, uh, suddenly nobody can explain. So is he Jibreel or he is not explained or cannot be explained? A second ago, you said it cannot be explained, but uh, previously I spoke to you. You said to me, Allah sent the Quran with the ruh. No, so so when they're asking the what's the uh, what's the ruh, like they're asking about the soul, like you know, what is it made of? Why is it so mm -hmm. they're asking about the substances? Is that the no, main no, no, thing my friend? First of all, was. first of all, the word ruh is the same used for the breed. You Muslims claim that this is ruh, ruh al Qudus, correct? The word, yeah, the same word, yeah. No, 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 the, the word, the road, uh, the word ruh for a human being is uh, nafs. You want to show you from the Quran? 
Nafs is a soul. Ruh is a spirit. Um, yeah, yeah, Ruh is a spirit, yeah. Okay, so the Ruh is a spirit, the Nafs is a soul. So now they are asking him about the Ruh, not about the soul. And they are not asking him how it's created. It doesn't matter what they are asking. If this is, if this is nobody knows is save Allah. So why you Muslim, they say to us that this is Jibreel? I'm sure Ruh is also used for, um, for the soul as well. Okay, well, my friend. If this is true, that means Allah is a, is a, is making a, a, too much confusing, a confusion because it cannot be ruh for a human in the same time. Nobody knows about it except Allah. Because if I have ruh, you know, simply I have a life. If ruh is just a soul, I have life. This is what soul mean. I mean, that's it's very simple to to give definition. Why Allah cannot tell us what is ruh, and and why it's hard to explain. I mean, it's hard for Allah. No, it's our human mind can't comprehend okay. how to like, but as you see, no, no, is. that's not true. That's not true. Uh, uh, Allah can speak to your human mind, and as He speaks in the whole Quran, Allah have time to speak about the ant speaking to the ants. Allah have time to tell us about Suleiman is standing over his stick and he did not die because he have a, he died, but he's he's standing, nobody noticed. Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of, of uh, Suleiman. Uh, Allah have time to tell us uh, uh, about many crazy stuff. But he have no time to answer such as very important question, spiritual question. What is the ruh? And look. Yeah. At so the, he said he he made it simpler, and he said, "Look, this is the command from Allah." No, he's this not saying command. This is the fast translation. It's this is the correct translation in front of you. He says that this is one of the things of the knowledge which which is of which is only my Lord and and uh, have knowledge of it. Nowhere it says. You see, the, the Muslim when they translate, they lie. This is the same verse, by the way, in front of you. Look at the translation here. Yes, This is the translation. This is more one million time more accurate from the translation in, you see in the in the other website. So here it says that the knowledge of the ruh is only from Allah. But they are asking you what is what is the ruh? No, amr means uh, command. So it says from the commands of Allah. No, it's not from the command of Allah. Nowhere it says from the command of Allah. I mean, amr, what, does, what does amr mean? What does amr no, mean? amr, amr, you know, uh, 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 like. Uh, uh, I will not talk to you about Amr. I will talk about you about a subject, about a topic. Amr can be if I say I give Amr, that's mean I am ordering somebody. But here it's yeah, not saying no. Amr. Here it doesn't say that. It says from Amri Rabbi, which means from the things of Allah, not from the orders. Amri, Amri, Amri. What Amri mean? If I say to you, Amri, things, things shame, Amri, so Amri, 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 my, 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 uh, 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 my problem and your problem. So Amr, Amr can be have many meaning, but here it have to be as you see. And this is your Muslim translation, not my translation. What does the other translation say? Okay, they ask you concerning the ruh. Say the ruh is one of the things, the knowledge of which is only with my Lord. And of the knowledge you have been given only a little. So Amri yeah, here, from Amri Rabbi, it's something something belong to Allah, something only Allah knows. The Bible says. So here, where is the answer? You said uh, Allah did not answer because we will not comprehend. Yeah. So Allah referred back to His hmm. knowledge. He said, Look, "Why? You know, why we cannot comprehend? Okay. Okay. Why He did not say you cannot comprehend?" So that's so that's why he said he said that this no, is the knowledge. No, of no, Allah. no, no. He said or, no. He said this is from the knowledge of Allah. Well, if uh, and you've been given. Yeah, he says you've been it, given little. Isn't it everything from the knowledge of Allah if He is God? Yeah, but it's it's it's, it's referring back to the that Allah is the all knowledgeable. So you all knowledgeable, and my little. friend. Okay, he's all knowledgeable. That's why we are asking him. We are asking all the knowledgeable. We are not asking the all all idiot. So all knowledgeable, he says to me, I have an answer, but I cannot give it to you. Is what yeah, you're saying. It's from the, yeah, it's probably one of the wisdoms that Allah did give it. Okay, so how you how you Muslim you say that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. I mean, how how it was so easy for you to come and to comprehend suddenly that the word Ruh is Jibreel. And who because of the context, because let what me context, find the verse. What context? There is nowhere in the context it says this is Jibreel. Yeah, in Surah Maryam, uh, no, it says yeah, she. No. Yeah, in Surah Maryam, it says she placed a screen for them. Uh, mm -hmm. We sent uh, to her our ruh, and he appeared before her in the form of a man in all respects. Okay, so this where, is where it says that this is Jibreel. 
Yeah, so obviously um, we know that the ruh that's being called here is uh, is the angel. Mm, okay, but about the Quran. In another says, verse, in okay, another let, let verse, me you, let me ask you: Is the angels are a spirit? Um, yeah, so I, I think that's that's what they're being called. No, no, I'm asking you. I confirm to me: Is the angels are a spirit? Are they spirits? It says here the word ruh refers to the slave and My the friend, messenger of Allah. That's not the question. Is the angels our spirit? Either you say yes or you say no. Um, spirit, in what sense? Uh, now, suddenly, you do not know spirit. Here we go. We go back to zero. Suddenly, spirit is Jibreel. Suddenly, spirit is uh, we know it's Jibreel. Suddenly, spirit became a man. And now, the second we ask you, is the angel Jibreel is, a, a, a Jibreel is an angel? Okay, when you uh, when you say that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, isn't it obvious that you are considering Jibreel a spirit? I mean, in Arabic, is the word is used, ruh. I don't so care. No, no, it yeah. says ruh. Yeah, I'm asking you now. So, when you call Jibreel, you say you claim that he is the Holy Spirit. Aren't you saying it clearly that he is a spirit? Yeah, he's a spirit. Yeah, okay. So, how you explain this verse for me? It was chapter 78 verse number 38 Chapter what? 78 verse number 38 Chapter 78 Verse number 80 Verse number what? 38 <coughs> The day that the spirit and the angels will stand in rows hmm. um, yeah, so even here it refers to the you know the um, Jibrail. So he here uh, obviously the angels mentioned as well, but it's highlighting that the because angel Jibrail he's the he's the highest ranking angels. No, so he, he's no, the no, most no, highest no, ranking no, 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 angels. No, 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 no. It says the angels, all of them, the angels. When you say the angels, it means the angels and the spirit. The spirit. Yeah. This is not about. This is if, if the angels are all of them, they are a spirit, then we cannot say and the spirit. If Jibreel is the only one is a spirit, that means he's not an angel. So either you say all the angels are a spirit, and that will make the verse wrong, or you say only Jibreel is a spirit, and that will not make him an angel. To say the angels and the spirit, that's mean that's mean that they are angels and he is a spirit. As simple as that. If we say the cats and the dogs that mean those are cats and those are dogs otherwise we do not put and between them and we don't differentiate the second we say the angels and the spirit is mean those are angels and this is a spirit they are not one yeah um, from my understanding it was that um it's highlighting the angel Jibreel, the, my when friend, he says you cannot or... highlight him i cannot highlight him because by saying if if Jibreel is a spirit, yeah, it's, it's my a friend, title, my friend, hold on hold on if Jibreel is the is a spirit is he an angel or not? Yeah, he is. Okay. Then I say to you, when you say Jibreel, the Holy Spirit, you that's mean that he is an angel, he is a spirit. That's mean all the angels are a spirit. Yeah, but it's a title. So if, if for example, if Allah wants to use a certain title for no, uh, a being no, and then mention no, all no, the general no, angels. No, no, hold on. All what he mentioned here is the word ruh. He did not even mention the ruh Qudus. He just said ruh. Yeah, that's fine. What's wrong okay. with that? Thank you very much. So, how we know that the word Ruh is about the angel uh, Jibreel? How you come with this? It's our the Messiah, the, ma the, the Messiah, Quran. the Messiah is Ruhullah, isn't he? Read it. Yeah. Okay. So you better you better go to Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, Ruhullah. This is exactly the word in Arabic, Ruhullah. Do you see it? It says Ruhullah, correct? Uh, let me have a look at your screen. Yeah. Okay. As long as Jesus is the Ruh of Allah, and then you say to me that Jibreel is a spirit of Allah, that means Jesus too is an angel. When I ask you how you know that this is in Jibreel, you said because the spirit of he is the spirit of Allah, he is the Holy Spirit. How you know that? You said to me, he appeared to Mary as a man. Okay, that's wonderful. Here, the one who is called Ruhullah, 
by name only Jesus Jibreel never been called Ruhullah in the verse I showed you it says the angels and the spirit okay Jesus is a spirit mm. You want to contact your sheikh so he can call me? Oh, they're very busy. He's busy, huh? Okay. Very, yeah. busy. very busy. Any answer, my friend? No. Okay, and uh, I will ask you here something we ask nobody answer to. Why Jesus only called Spirit of Allah? You see, as he, as you see here, this is, this is a title for him. Muhammad is not called Spirit of Allah. Adam is not Spirit of Allah. Moses are not spirit of Allah. He is the only one Jesus called the spirit of Allah and he is his word. Why? Yeah, so the the word is obviously when Allah says be and it was no, no, it cannot be it cannot be my friend because if that be and it was it's mean Adam is spirit of Allah too <laughs> Because the Quran says the similarity between Jesus and Adam that Allah he said to him be and he was so if that will make Jesus B that's mean Adam is B but as you see this is only a title only for Jesus in Islam there's nobody in Islam has a name such a name spirit of Allah and the word of Allah I mean when Allah saying that uh, you know Isa Islam he's he's like Adam the, the comparisons that's that's been given is that look Isa Islam he's got a, my friend he's, he only got a mother my friend and, no, no. Adam listen, 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 focus with me if Adam, I will go with you. If the word be is the word of Allah, correct? Okay. And if Adam, if Adam is be and he was, that means Adam and the Messiah, they share the same title, Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah. Why only Jesus in Islam has such a title? Can you find me a hadith where it says Adam is the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah? No. The Muslim, they call Jesus Yaruhullah. Oh Spirit of Allah, oh Ruh of Allah, oh Word yeah, of Allah. Yes, Allah. Allah created the Allah created the Ruh. My so friend, no, no. It, you see, here cases. we go. If Allah created the Ruh, that means all of us we are Ruh of Allah, and that will make Muhammad look silly because he gave this title only to Jesus. Imagine all of us we have a blood, <laughs> and then you say to me the one with the blood, but all of us we have a blood. That would be silly. Yeah, but it, with with Isa Islam, it was, it was a miracle. So that's this why. This is not the story. This is not. We're talking about how he how he was uh, came to existence. He's a miracle. I agree. Jesus is a miracle because God is a miracle. But here we find that he was called the Spirit of Allah. Only him. He was called the Word of Allah. Only him. So why he is called the Word of Allah? Of all of us who are the Word of Allah, if all of us Word of Allah, that means this is this is a silly statement to call him such a th thing. When you say. When you, you call somebody by such a title, this is not a name, this is a title. That means only him, he has it. Interesting. Do we agree? Um, no, I need when to you call, when, you call, when you call Muhammad, Muhammad, that's for a reason. There's only him is Muhammad, correct? Otherwise, all yeah, of I mean, us are Muhammad. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, yeah, so, that's his name. No, no, this is not his name. This is his title. Muhammad is not a name. This is what the Quran says in different verses. Ahmad. Right? Yeah, he's got uh, plenty of names. Uh, this, so here we go. So that that's confirmed that this is not a name. This is a title. Muhammad, he called himself the praised one because he's trying to be God. Because only God should be the praised one, not a man. Muhammad, obviously, he's a kafir. He tried to take over to, to take over God, claiming he's a servant of God, but yet his name is Muhammad, which means the praised one. Do you believe in the praise one Allah or the praise one Muhammad? I mean, people are praiseworthy as well. No, like, no, know, my friend. He no. says his name is the praised one, not praiseworthy. And why are you praiseworthy of a man? Praiseworthy only is God. There's no man to be pra praiseworthy. All even your prophet he says, Adam Every son of an Adam is a sinner. How you how you can be pra praiseworthy? And you are a sinner. Even the Quran says that Muhammad was a big time sinner. So how he no, can he's not a sinner. Allah forgive his past sins in the future sins. He said, okay, hold on, guys. So, did you hear it? Allah he forgive his past and his coming sin. So how he is not a sinner if Allah forgive his past and his coming forgiving sin will not make you not a sinner, my friend. That's silly. Thank you very much for saying that. If Allah forgive his past and his coming, 
that not only make him a sinner that make him a bad sinner because that's mean after he became a prophet still he is doing the same thing as before he became a prophet correct no no that's not true so why Allah is forgiving his past and his coming sin so he's got no sins so Allah forgives all like basically how you can forgive yeah. him sin if you have no sin Mm. Imagine I have no dirt, but you want to clean me from my dirt, but I have no dirt. Sin is the same as a dirt over the body of a human being and his soul. So when he say I forgive your sin in the past, that means there is a sin in the past. Otherwise, Allah is being silly and being stupid here. For you cannot forgive something not to be forgiven. You have to commit a crime to forget about forgive about the crime. So Allah here is giving an open license for Muhammad saying to him you were a sinner before no problem I forgive your sin in the past and not only that go ahead and do as much sin as you wish and the funny the Muslim they say that one of the Pope he gave a forgiving sin paper for his believers if they pay money but the fact this is Islam Islam is promising you that Allah will forgive your sin if you pay him money is that correct my friend pay him money yeah, if you pay money, to, if you pay, if no, you, I love him. If you give, give without it. No, if you give, if you give a mortgage to Allah, if you give a loan, which means Muhammad, you will take the money. Allah will forgive you, send it granted. Yeah, but Allah also can forgive just like that as well. So. No, no, no. He will go. He make it clear that Allah, He forgive those who give Him money. I mean, Surah Zumar, it says Allah forgives all sins. Okay, uh, except the one who commit shirk and Muhammad was a mushrik, right? No, he was a Muslim. Really Let's not change the topic. Allah forgive all sin. That's funny. Muhammad he says many things about forgiving sin. If you touch the, 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 the black stone in the corner of Yemen in the Kaaba, Allah forgive your sin too. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, how how touching stones will forgive your sin? Yeah, Allah made as means for us to get you. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm asking you how touching a stone will forgive your sin. That's that's the most. This is not only pagan. This is evil because I can be a rapist. I can be a criminal. I can be a child molester, and then I go, I touch those corners, and that's it. My sin is forgiven. Read careful with me. Chapter sixty-four, verse number seventeen. If you lend Allah a goodly loan, He will double uh, double it for you, and He will forgive you. You Muslims believe in a pagan God. You can give him some money, and he forgive your sin. Yeah, so when Allah, Allah saying that whatever charity you're going to do, uh, Allah will repay that back to you in the hereafter. He's so not talking about he will pay back to you. Yeah. First, of all, first of all, first of all, how Muslim they say that Allah will ghani you, al ghani or the rich, Allah the rich. Okay, yeah, why he is asking for a yeah, loan? Yeah. Why Allah is asking for a loan? So, so this is just highlighting that basically Allah will return it back to us. In the it's not the question why Allah he need a loan. He is the, he's the rich. He have he owns the whole universe. A, he doesn't need a loan. Okay, no, it says if you lend Allah alone. So the, the the loan part is that you give you give towards Allah, Allah will uh, give it back to you. It's not okay, that. It's not, I'm you asking know. you. I'm asking you. Uh, Allah will not be victorious to spread Islam unless we give Muhammad a loan. Allah cannot, no, this is for charity. Allah cannot this, give this a victory. For Allah cannot give a victory to his prophet unless we give him a money, and that is a loan for Allah, and He will deal it for us. So no, this, okay, let, let me let me, let, about let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Does does Muhammad he claim that believing in Islam is the same as a business? What do you say? Does Muhammad claim that believing in Allah is a business? Um, where does he say that? Let's look at the context. So, so I am asking you: Does he say that or not? You never heard this before. Um, I heard something similar to it, but I can't remember. I'm asking you: do, do you hear this before or not? Not exactly that. Hmm. What the word tijara mean in Arabic? Yeah, trade business. Uh, okay. This is the Quran, the chapter sixty-one, verse number ten. Islam is a business. Tijara. Not only is it a tijara, actually, it's a commerce, commercial. Should I, oh, you believe? Shall I show you a commercial that will save you from the painful doom? Even speaking about his God, he is speaking about it as a commercial. No, so what's Allah saying that? Allah saying that, look, shall I show you a trade? 
or should I show you? A, a I mean, what kind of a trade is trade? So I'll just let, let us listen to this trade. You are saying to me, if you give me money, I will exchange with you, go into heaven. Isn't it true that your prophet he promised ten people because they supply him with money to go to heaven, and the first one no, was Marbun no. Affan? What do you mean? I can show you. No, I'm saying not just because of the money, like also because in, of the money. The uh, only thing Osman yeah, no Affan he did, Osman yeah. no Affan he did not do in join jihad. He's an old man. The only thing he do, he could just give money. He's a rich man. What about the, all others? Like you said, ten, ten of them. Yes. Can you show me the all ten one, of them that the, the they first all one, gave money? The first one is the one who gave money. Yeah, Abu Bakr gave, Umar gave. Okay, let me Uthman ask you. Gave. Who is yeah, Muhammad? So. Who uh, Abu Bakr? He gave him money to. Isn't it Bilal? Is a gift, a slave to Muhammad? This is money. All of them, they gave him money. Uh, Abu Bakr gave what? Slave. Yeah, Bilal is owned by Abu Bakr. He gave him to Muhammad as a him. gift. Yeah. No, no, he freed. He freed him. No, 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 no. He did not free him. No, he did not free him. And secondly, he gave him to him as Muhammad never is free Bilal. As simple as that. Secondly, Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, Bakr is the one who bought Bilal, and Bilal was serving who was serving Muhammad, not Abu, Abu Bakr, correct? So he gave him money. He is bribing him. In the narration, is mentioned that uh, Bilal was freed by Abu Bakr. Where it says that? Because he was getting tortured. No, my friend. No, he did not free. He bought him. He was a slave of somebody else. He bought him, and then Bilal. Yeah, he bought he, him. Then yes. Him, yeah. Okay. So he did not free him. And, and Bilal even he complained after Muhammad he died he said he said to him if you bought me for the sake of Allah free me for the sake of Allah if you bought me for yourself will keep me for yourself right yeah I've, if you look in Google it says my friend I don't, I don't care for Google I'm, I'm a Christian, I am a Christian prince what Google here we go this is Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have brought me, bought me for yourself and then keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, well, really, it need, let me for the sake of Allah. So this is Bilal complaining. Like, oh, okay, oh, you know, you claim that you are a good believer. And here we go, I converted to Islam. And you don't want to free me. If Bilal, no, there was, if, an, inc if, if there was Bil an incident that took place. Uh, My friend, I, he I did not the free him. The, 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 the he, he, he bought him. He did not free him. He bought him and he came up and slave. That's why the guy is asking Abu Bakr to free him. He's begging him, free me. Now we go back a little bit. So now what we will do with Jesus being called the Spirit of Allah and the Word of Allah? What we will do with this? Nothing. He's a, you know, Allah created the Spirit and He's the Word. Mm -hmm. No, this is the question. Why Muhammad is not called? Okay, Muhammad have a spirit too. I have a spirit too. You have a spirit too. Okay, but only Jesus in Islam, his name, title is Ruhullah wa Kalimatahu. Only Jesus. Either this is a mistake in the uh, mythology of Islam. And contradiction because here now we notice that Jibreel, according to you, is a spirit too. No, I mean, I mean, if you think about it, uh, Baytullah, you know, house of Allah, that's uh, you know, that's been said as well. But you know, all the uh, mosques around the world, they, they no, are Baytullah no, as well. No, no, it's no, 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 hold on, hold on, um, hold on. First of all, the word bait is a pagan statement, they started from the from the Aramic, where they used to make a, 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 a bait. For uh, their pagan god, you know they uh, they slaughter there, they do things. Abraham, he is coming from a pagan society. You Muslims, you believe that Abraham, who was a, from a pagan society and he was a pagan himself, he is the one who built the bait, correct? Yeah, he built the mosque. Okay, but the fact this is not true because according to your Islamic reference, the one who built the mosque, it was not Abraham, it was the angels. No, from the Quran, it's uh, Ibrahim and some that built no, it to find that. No, my friend. No, no, my friend. No, Abraham in the Quran, uh, he just raised the the house. So that's building, isn't it? It was destroyed. No, it was not built by Abraham. It was destroyed. He rising the foundation of the house. He did not 
make a foundation he did not yeah sumsa yeah sumsa adam islam built here okay so, so adam so yeah. you see you, you see how muslims are funny a second ago it was abraham after two seconds speaking to me you agree it is adam but adam is not the one no. Adam is no, not no, the so one who built Adam. Build the some, Kaaba. some scholars say Adam is not built. No, 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 no. The foundation no, scholar, were, were destroyed. no scholar, yeah. my friend, no scholar say Adam is the one to build the Kaaba. The one who built the Kaaba, according to you, this because the second you go to, uh, to uh, this Adam story, we have to go to the story. You will find that Allah, He uh, told Adam, uh, Allah, uh, where Allah He sent Adam when He came down from heaven, where He sent him. Um, can't remember. What do you mean, can't remember? He, he was separate from Hawa. I know, um, but he sent he sent down where? I don't know what place it was. Is is? Hmm? Uh, I don't know what place it was. Is it uh, Sri Lanka now, which is India? Don't know. Okay. Let us show some reference, if you don't mind. Oh. You know Arabic, right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I want you to read with me, please. I'm going to put it in the screen. And let me make it show all of it. Uh, all right. Read carefully. Allah said to Adam, what? Can you read it or you want me to read for you? Uh, you can read it. I sent down to you something so you can go and circle around it as they circle around my, my throne. So Allah now, there's people that th they or angels, they are circling around the throne. فتوجه Adam من أرض الهند. So uh, Adam, he came all the way from India, walking. <laughs> and this is specifically Sri Lanka. How Adam can walk in the sea. Let it go. And then in his reception was the angels waiting for him. And then they said to him, your, your, your hajj, your privilege is, is blessed, Adam. And did we did hajj to this house before you, 2,000 years before you. And Adam, he did hajj to the house of Allah, which means the Kaaba, from India all the way to Mecca in his feet. And, and then Allah, he... Uh, 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 he, he, he raised the house in the time of the flood of Noah to the fourth sky and this is why it's called Al Baytul Ma'mur, the house which is built and then Allah he said to Abraham, he ordered Abraham to rebuild and Jibreel he told him where it was, the location of the house the original house rebuild, not build, alright and uh, and then it says that Allah He sent uh, uh, like a cloud to shade him during the time he's working, and then uh, he it took him five generations of of mankind to build the house. And then look here what it says with me: Why the black stone is black stone? Do you know? Uh, because of the sins of mankind. What does that mean? So it used to be white, and then because of the sins of mankind, is it? Uh, it, it turned the color. Okay, what is the sin? When we say sin, what does that mean? It's a wrong action. Wrong action. Read with me carefully here. This is your Muslim, you know. It says, وَقِيلَ تَمَخَّضَ أَبُو قُبَيْسِ أَبُو قُبَيْسِ is a little tiny, we cannot call it mountain really. It's like a hill next to Mecca, the Kaaba, very close to the Kaaba. And Allah, He hide the black stone inside it, inside the belly of this mountain or mount. And it was uh, made from white pearl. From heaven, but when the blood of women period touch it during the time of ignorance, he became black. What the blood of women touching the black stone? So what's this this tafsir? Yes, this is tafsir. This is tafsir, this is your Islamic website. This is Kitabul Hawi fi Tafsir al Quran. And who wrote that? At how we just search it, all right? So, the blood of women made it black. Why? Because the pagan Arab before Islam, women who don't get, cannot have baby, 
it's what they do they think they commit sin they have sin why we're not commit why we are not having baby obviously we commit sin Baal is not fertilizing us so what they do they go and they put their they go naked is it true that the Arab they used to go naked around the Kaaba or I'm lying the Arab pagans used to not the Muslims. okay no, no problem here we go but the Arab pagan they used to do that even in the time of Muhammad but here you notice and even after he took over Mecca then here you notice that the women are touching their vagina and they have a period that they are naked so they are naked here should it you did you ask yourself why people what what is, what is the religion they are practicing to walk naked around the Kaaba what is that religion did you ask yourself this question yeah that's the that's whatever religion they had okay I'm asking you what is that religion obviously it's a sexual religion right to walk naked and then the women they touch their vagina when they have their period specifically when they have their period and then they place it inside the black stone did you ask yourself what is the connection between the black stone and women placing their hand inside the inside uh, in, the, in their vagina and then they place it in the black stone and that's supposed to will make them pregnant because this is a pagan religion no the, the understanding behind that was uh, the Arab pagans the, no the, problem but the, the understanding Islam, was my that friend, hold on, you want to be naked you see, because uh, Allah understanding, like no you have the same understanding you are the one who just a second ago you said to me that the black stone was white and became a black because of sin you just said that to me you carry that from the pagan Arab the pagan Arab they believe that when they touch their vagina and then the men come after that and they 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 chuff their, their their penis inside the black stone and they touch the same blood of the women that will fertilize the women so you are carrying the same method but you don't you cut the rest of the story you you yourself you cut only part of the story what you you cut the part where it says the black stone was white and became a black because of what because of sin exactly what the arab it says in the front of us here because of the sin because of the sin and actually here we go this is your islamic scar saying because the women touch their vagina and they have a blood in their hands and they are touching the black stone islam, so friend, islam islam is nothing but a pagan religion is a carry on of what previous before and muhammad he collect you know he, 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 there is people believe in someone his name is abraham okay abraham we join alexander the great we make him part of islam uh, 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 i mean name it anyone a sabian sabian worship stars how sabian they will go to heaven how Sabi and they will go to heaven? They worship stars. How in the world you say to the Sabi and they will go to heaven? Hmm. Sabi and I don't know what they are. Sabi and they worship stars and you go to your prophet Google. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. And maybe next time you can get your scholar to call us or your sheikh. Maybe he can do better. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. So as you see, Islam is a collection of stupidity, and no Muslim have an answer. No Muslim have an answer. And the funny, each time I talk to a Muslim, he says, I never heard this before. I never heard this before. Where it says that? I never heard this before. Islam is not, is not even a religion. Islam is like a, you know, like a, 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 a dumpster for garbage, and everybody throw his garbage there, and then after that we, we we make it recycle, and you can imagine all the colors will come from the plastic inside the nylon, uh, uh, you know, whatever is inside, it's a recycle. Muhammad he recycles all other beliefs, and he claimed that this is a religion of Allah. It's called Islam. Even the word Islam is a theft. He took it from a guy, he's in the Muslim, they call him Musaylama to make fun of him. Even the word Ar Rahman is a is a is a theft. <clears throat> First time Muhammad he used the word uh Rahman, it was almost he have already more than 50% of the Quran And then the people they said to him who, who is this Rahman? Oh Muhammad he worshiped now two gods He used to worship Allah and now he is worshiping a Rahman 
But if you go in the front of every verse in the Quran, you will see it says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. But Muhammad, obviously, the Quran says Muhammad never used that name before. So how it how it how it appears today in the front of every verse in the Quran, every chapter start with Rahman Rahim. When Muhammad did not mention that until half of his religion is delivered already, they ask him, they call upon Allah or call upon a Rahman by whatever name you call him. All the names belong to good names belong to Allah. So they were asking him, how you, what who's who's a Rahman? And not only that, they say to him, the only you know of a person who worship a God, his name is a Rahman, is uh, the guy who called himself Rahman al Yamama, Musaylama. Muhammad, he stole the name from Musaylama. Musaylama, he sent him a letter according to Muslims, and he said to him, in the name of a Rahman. Since then, Muhammad, he starts saying a Rahman. <laughs> Muhammad is nothing but a scam. If you remember when Muhammad was praying, you remember the story when Muhammad was praying and a Jewish guy, he passed by. Look how easy to get a, a false prophet busted. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, Jew which means a rabbi, learned Jew means a rabbi, passed by him and said, This is how we do it. What? This is all what he said. All what he said, this is how we do it. Nothing more, nothing less. So the guy he said, This is how we do it. Muhammad immediately he says, Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. So all this time you are praying as Allah told you to pray, just because a guy is, is that a prayer you learned from Jibreel or this prayer you fabricated yourself, you are copying the Jews. So Muhammad now, he, he because he feels guilty, he knew he's a thief. Right away, he is willing to change the way he pray. But you are praying like this for a while now. Just because the guy he said to him to you, this is how we do it. You change it. What if Muhammad was cleaning his ass with the toilet paper and the Jew he said to him, this is how we do it. What if Muhammad was uh, uh, eating uh, from his mouth and the Jew he said, this is how we do it. If Muhammad is a prophet of God, he been taught how to pray by God. If you ask the Muslims who taught Muhammad how to pray, they will say Jibreel. Okay, if Jibreel taught him how to pray. That's wonderful. So why he said act differently? What about he said to him? So what? This is how this is how it is. No, I will answer the spirit thing. Yes. Oh. Huh? What? I will answer the spirit. You will answer the spirit. I, what about answer yeah. me about uh, why why your prophet he says sit down? What the guy he said to yeah, him? But, this okay, is how wait. we do it. I I found I found a manuscript of the Sahih Bukhari uh -huh. and it talks about spirit. Okay, what is the manuscript says? It's funny oh, when you sure. say manuscript. There is no book of Sahih Bukhari even as exists. How do you call it manuscript? <laughs> Just see. Hmm. I took a screen. Read it in Arabic, please. Hmm. It doesn't open anything. Here we go. I click at your link, nothing open. What? My friend, don't waste my time. You just give me the thing and, you know, what, what? I click at your link, nothing open. Here we go. The page open in front of me and there's nothing. What? Bunch of kids. So the guy he said to him this is how we do it and right away we change how we do it just because somebody said to him this is how we do it obviously this person is a false man 
if I'm a prophet of God and God taught me how to pray, and that's it. So what if he said to me, this is how we do it. But because he felt guilty, because he knew he is a thief. You see, when you are a thief, if you see the, the if you hear the, the sound of a police car, you think maybe they're coming to me. Because, okay, well, I am, I am guilty. All right? I don't sleep comfortable when I hear that sound. Because I know that I'm maybe they're coming for me, maybe, maybe, maybe not for me, maybe for me. So Muhammad, the second the Jew, he said to him, This is how we do it. Muhammad was willing and making a decision immediately, saying, Act differently. How you can act differently and why? So, what if he said, This is how we do it? The Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is a the uh, Moses was a Muslim. Jesus was a Muslim okay so if you pray the same as the Jews you can say well we are uh, you know from the same God like you right you do not need to change it but because he knew he is a stealing he is copying and now he got busted so he said to them act differently are we following Imagine Jesus saying to us, pray like this. And then a Jew, he walked by, he says to Jesus, this is how we do it. Jesus, he said, sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. <laughs> this is how we do it, prophet, prophet. This is how we do it, prophet. Look what the guy said. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Da, da, da. I mean, let us have uh, some uh, disco music here. The guy he just said, This is a song, it's called This is How We Do It. Just by saying this is how we do it, you change the religion. Garbage in, garbage out. I hope you guys you enjoyed your time here. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to download the video and save it into your reference, upload it in different uh, places. Because what we share with you is a priceless and it is some of what we know, not all, very little, tiny about this cult. But the sum is too much, too many, because I mean, you people will have a very hard time to find those references we gave you and we share with you and we explain it to you. So please download the video. So one day the video will be gone. And yes, there's people that are downloading my videos, but there's no guarantee they will have it too. So download it. Even if you don't want to have it in YouTube, you can save it in your computer. It teach you, educate you, and make you able to answer the Abdul. And if you are Abdul, I advise you to download it too. Because it teach you and show you how silly Islam is. Islam cannot be from God. Proven over and over. It's a silly cult made by a man who have no knowledge of anything. Trying to make himself to appear like he is a prophet of God by fabricating, by lying, by misquoting, and by misreading. He don't even know how to read things. The Muslim, they say Muhammad was illiterate. I say, yes, he was illiterate, but not about reading or writing. He was illiterate about God. And this is what the Quran says. Illiteracy is about, illiteracy about, about and you Muslims, all of you are illiterate. You do not know what spirit is. You do not know what soul is. You do not know what are you talking about. And you have no idea what is Islam is about. If we ask a Muslim who is Allah, he do not know. Or what he said to us, he is the creation, creator. If we ask him what Allah, the word Allah mean, if you remember Dr. Ruhi from Al-Azhar University, he says to me, uh, we do not know what the word Allah mean. Uh, there is an Arab guy, he is the first one who said Allah, but we do not know him. <laughs> Arab guy. <laughs> nice to meet you, Arab guy. Nice to meet you. This is a religion, let us guess. This is a religion based on let us guess. Please don't forget to, to forget to subscribe to this uh, website, minds.com. I have uh, my page there. So always you can have uh, uh, communication with me as a backup. And uh, for those who speak Spanish, soon my book in Spanish will be uh, in Amazon, maybe in 48 hours from now. 
so if you speak Spanish please uh, tell your friends about this book it's it's very well done as a translation and if you are a person who uh, uh, like to know more we have many books for for you to read six and a lot the topic is about six um, you know uh, we have a German translation for the session of Allah uh, we have a French translation which is very good the secret the Prophet Arab and then we have Quran and science which is getting the Abdul busted about their lies about what they call science and the Quran and actually both books uh, uh, deception of Allah and, and the Quran and science they they should suppose the it's a one book I made them two books but because the major topic in the second book about science so I call it I decided to call it uh, science and Quran uh, or Quran and science uh, but uh, both of them they are supposed to be one book and to help you not only to refute Islam but to destroy Islam my friend Islam is the most silly stupid cult you cannot imagine how silly it is they try to fool you because you don't speak the language we are from there we are the best who speak Arabic. All the five point which is made in the history of Arabia, which nobody can make like it, is made by five Arab Christians. Five Arab Christians. The best poetry in the history of Arabia. Not like the Siri Quran, which is nothing but a saja, which is nothing but like uh, somebody trying to make rap and music, but does not make any sense. Yesterday I saw a fat, and I mean by that the rat but there's no connection between this and that and I'm just trying to tell you about my God a lot who is big and not holy and he have a small or big belly because we never saw him we never know him and I have no answer more than that here we go we make for you Quran and this is very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and until we see you again God bless take care